Alchemist. Welcome back to actually a new little side project that I've been working on. So uh, I've always been kind of fascinated with working with low level APIs and uh, sometimes you also need a little bit of a boost when you, uh, you know, when you're working with some code. And although Elixir and Erlang is, is fairly fast and I love the way they do things for us, but sometimes we need a little bit of extra boost of speed and we really need to kind of focus on uh, certain things. And I thoroughly believe that, you know, there's no way you can ever beat, beat C uh, in terms of when you really, really want to get down to things. Uh, although, you know, sometimes you can with Java or C Sharp, but that's another, another story in itself. But I really want to uh, actually highlight a uh, somewhat new language called Rust. And at uh, Plangora, we're actually starting to experiment with this. Uh, we haven't actually used it yet in any project as we're still picking it up and we're still seeing if it kind of fits some of our needs. Um, but in any case, uh, I kind of wanted to start a little small series on here and actually show you how you know you can actually use Rust and some of its weird little quirks. Um, although after you get used to it, you start to understand why it's a, a strange thing, but then you also start to appreciate it. And so the first version of our series is actually how you install Rust on Mac OS. So most of us are using Mac. And the reason is that it, I think it's a good kind of mix between, you know, like a somewhat kind of mainstream OS, you know, it is pretty well supported and pretty well used. And uh, a Linuxy kind of uh, vibe, right? Because of course we always still deploy to Linux. Um, and with Mac OS actually being based on Unix itself, I believe it's BSD. Um, it's really a nice, uh, a nice way to develop with. And so the first video in our series about Rust is actually how to install uh, Rust on uh, Mac OS. And so without any further delay, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now we always use Homebrew because it's an easy way to install things. So we're gonna brew install Rust up uh, in it. So Rustup is a tool that is uh, created by, um, how do I say, it's created by some, by the people of Rust to easily kind of manage your version of Rust. They have basically three types of channels. There's a stable, which we always try to use in case we don't, in case we, uh, in case we don't, we always try to use as much as possible just because of course that's the most stable version. And uh, then of course there's also nightly, which of course every single night there's a new version. And I believe there's a beta. So beta is usually the version following the stable. So, you know, if you're at version 1.5, then beta should be 1.6. And that's, uh, you know, while it's still kind of being tweaked last minute style. But in any case, uh, we're gonna be working with uh, stable. So to install Rust stable, you just use Rust up, install stable. And this is gonna go ahead and grab all of the stable uh, components for you. And so what you're gonna notice over here too is that we're syncing channel updates for the stable of 64-bit version for Apple Darwin. So uh, if it's, um, how do you say that? Uh, you can actually compile different versions of, of your code for different uh, architectures. So we can also do 86, you know, 32-bit version uh, for Mac, we can also do, um, you know, like Linux or, or any kind of other tool chain. It's quite nice that it's uh, able to actually download these different kinds of targets. And there's also a target for something called WASM, right? Which is uh, basically how you can write, um, what's it called? You can write WebAssembly. So WASM is for WebAssembly, which is something else I wanna show in the future is how we can actually use Rust to create some WebAssembly code which should theoretically be quite fast. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, but we can do that later. But as you can see right now, the nice part about Rust up is it's gonna install everything we need. So we have Rust C, which is the compiler, uh, Rust standard, which I believe is the standard, um, the standard lib, uh, I may be wrong, and Cargo, which is like the package manager. So if we're gonna compare this to Elixir, Cargo would be like Mix. And of course, there's always Rust docs, which, you know, just as it says, it's the documentation for Rust itself and also the standard library, I believe. Um, and using Rust up, as you can see, is very, very simple and very, very easy. Uh, just the sad part is, of course, it just takes time to download everything. 
it looks like we're about to be done. So once we are done, then we can just try it out. There we go. So install the latest version of stable Rust, which is 1.40. And we can double check that by doing Rust C dash dash version. And there it is. So that's how you can install Rust, uh, stable and nightly or whatever else. But in this case, we showed you how to install stable. So again, this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we will be creating more and more Rust videos for you guys. Thanks. Bye. Hi, please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.